This is a field map. Uh, it shows the water depth in feet, presumably of a lake. And suppose you'd been on a boat all day taking measurements. Uh, you'd measure the depth and then you find your location and you plot it on the map. And so you've taken a whole day's worth of data, you've come back, you've plotted this on a map, and now you want to convert this into a contour map that you can read. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. And as a scientist, you would do this many times. You might do it for the depth of a lake or the elevation of a hill. You could also do it for air pressure, temperature. I mean, you could do it for a number of different data readings that you might take. So a field map is just a map in which you've collected data. And now we're going to map this data. So the first task we have is to plot the contour line for 20 feet. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that on this map there's a couple of points that are 20 feet and I'm highlighting them. But you realize there's only a couple because when we were taking the data we weren't trying to get any specific depth. We were just collecting our data. So now we have to figure out where 20 feet goes. And if you look at our 20 foot mark it's between 19 and 21 or 19 and 25. If you're 19 feet deep in a lake and you're 25 feet deep in a lake, somewhere in between, you're going to be 20 feet deep. And so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to put the points in for you. Okay, so I'm going to put in a point right over here. And as you can see, I put it between 18 and 21. Now 20 is closer to 21. And so therefore I put my point a little bit closer to 21 than 18, not exactly halfway. Then I, you can see over here between 17 and 21 I put a point. And then down here between 16 and 25, 20 is about halfway, I put the point about halfway. And here between 15 and 26, 20 is slightly closer to 15, so my point is slightly closer to 15. And then 17 and 29, 20 is much closer to 29, so I put the point there. And let's go to the other side, 19 and 21, 21 and 18, uh, 18 and 21. Now over here you see 18 and 23, 20 is about halfway, 17 and 21, and then 13 and 23. Once you put in all your points, connect them with a line. And once you've connected all the points with a line, you need to label it you know, in this case would be 20. 